Hey guys, this is Oliver from Spitfire Audio and these are the sounds of our new Bernard Herman library. Welcome to another in action video. For this one I've created a composition using solely the Bernard Herrmann library. The composition consists of three parts and I'm going to take you through each of them. There will be a bit of a surprise later on as well because we've included some absolutely fantastic synths into this one. Um, so what you've heard here is uh, the Ons Martino, one of the first electronic instruments. Sounds really warm, nice and vintagey. really cool sounds. Uh, we've got different uh, settings here, different articulations, wind and strings, tutti. We've got these really cool birds here. I'm using them quite a lot. The bird effects. And then we've included uh, this thing called Studio Orchestra. And that means it's the whole orchestra under your fingertips, uh, nicely mixed. And we've even included some chords. Listen to this. That sounds so beautiful. Um, let me take you to the next section. So we've got a lot of percussion going on. I love these percussion sounds. So the bass drum. It's a nice kind of rich sounds. And then as you will realize later on in the composition, I'm using this guy a lot. Uh, the anvil. Uh, it's a cool snare. Or uh, in a true Bernard Herman style. Kind of combining these sounds. And we've got some other cool little drums. As you can tell, I'm, I'm loving these sounds. Um, but then we got also the, the more standard kind of stuff, which is uh, the high strings, high strings octaves, half section. I'm saying standards, but it's not really because it's we've recorded this on a different stage and you, you hear the difference because it sounds more intimate, kind of drier, more honest. And it gives you a lot of option kind of to tweak this sound still. So you have the out triggers, the ambience, the tree, the close. In my composition, I went more for the really close sound. So I'm using a lot of the close and tree mics. Uh, we've got a beautiful flautando, which is carrying my melody in the first part. Harmonically, I'm playing around with these half diminished chords. Um, minor major seven uh, chords kind of inspired by uh, the master himself uh, then we've got these uh, low strings uh, with the horns so if i open up here uh, my instruments i can see that we've got uh, kind of in the true bernard herman style all these combinations and timbres and it's absolutely fantastic in the beginning i was like Oof, i'd like to have the horn separately but this is not the library for that it's, it's the library of new instruments and new timbres and you got to embrace it and just be inspired by these really cool sounds. Quite evil there. I will take you through some other instruments as we go through my composition. But let me just show you some of the shorts. Um, together, so I've got these uh, low ones here. So and what I did here, I used the time machine patch and uh, stretched it a little bit, meaning tightening up uh, the attacks uh, of the sample. So I wanted it to be almost a little bit robotic. Uh, but that's just kind of a creative choice here. In the higher range, I left them like a little bit more loose. So you can 
voice coming in. Pizzicato. Then my main melody is carried by the uh, flute section. So again, here I have piccolo and flute mixed, and we have the, the, our legato patches. Quite a, quite a cool sound, those two together. And then we've got the mixed flutes as well, doubling up. And then we've got some shorts here as well. Um, we've got uh, flutes and clarinets, uh, so a different mix. So as you can see, you have uh, plenty of choices to add different timbres. Uh, let me take you through the next section. No, actually, beforehand, let's look at some of these uh, instruments here. Uh, Celeste and Harp. It's quite nice because sometimes the Celeste doesn't quite cut through it, but then you've got the, the attack of the harp string. Uh, we've got there as well, we've got chords. So if I just select this. I'm using one later on, you will hear it. Um, Cool. Now, so let's move on to the next section. There's quite a few things going on. So first of all, these uh, trombone and timpani shorts, which I find really, really powerful. Uh, really cool to make, make some accents there. And here I've, I've used uh, Celeste and Harp, but I uh, twisted it a little bit. So I reversed it and then I put on the spreader, uh, stereo delay and distortion. So without all of these. Quite a nice effect. Then I'm going into the pits, kind of a, it's almost a waltz feel basically. high velocity there to get the really uh, heavy feel of this uh, rhythm and pattern. Then the bass as well, bass drum. Favorite sound there. And then the synth here, which sounds really, really cool. So you go into here, advanced synths, and you've got a bunch of synths to choose from. I'm, I'm using the Herman D tune, I'm using a portamento glide. So enabling the portamento glide. Really cool sounds. I tweaked it a little bit, I put some distortion on, and then on my next section here, if it goes to the next kind of melody line, I put a bit of a spreader, so it goes kind of from the middle, uh, it changes and goes onto uh, both sides um, of the stereo field. And um, let's just have a listen to the uh, later section, to the synth section. <laughs> String chord effects there with the, with the sliding strings. Cool. 
cool. So there's some more uh, synth stuff going on. Um, I'll show you with this one. I do something really cool. So I automate uh, the volume and the pitch. Um, and I kind of assigned it to two uh, knobs so I can tweak it as I go along. And if we listen to it separately and look at automation as well. Uh, it won't be there. It will be in my CC controllers. So here you get uh, uh, the different line here, which is not expression or modulation. Which is a quite uh, cool feature. And again here, I'm putting some spreader, quite heavy compression uh, onto the synth. Then we've got these uh, low trombones, uh, longs, muted. Really like the sound. And we've got some uh, piccolo uh, flute runs. And here's some uh, counter melodies. And again, all these instruments are already kind of mixed. So the long strings with the horns, the choronglé with the trumpets, and the trombones, uh, longs muted, uh, kind of separately. But everything together uh, s uh, suits quite well and sounds amazing. And then I've got tremolo up here. Of course, my pits. Synth and ants underneath, uh, that all is the percussion. Uh, I've got some uh, second voice here. Not sure where that's from. <laughs> Just had to include a little bit of uh, original Bernard Herrmann. And then let's go to the next section. Synth here on the bottom, but shorts, meaning uh, I turned off the release, so just to make them short, just hit, hit them separately. Then we've got trumpet and xylophone, which is actually quite comical, I guess. Cool, and then here in the end for my main melody, I'm using the high uh, strings octaves to give it uh, a bit more importance, I guess. And then the strings and the horns as well, uh, making the main melody even stronger. I really hope you have enjoyed uh, this tutorial and I hope you get to enjoy the library too. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.